Hey, we gotta, wait, who's driving this thing? Oh, look who's here. Wait a second. Bro, we said Kung Fritters from Alabama Jacks. All of a sudden, Eddie, Eddie pops up. Who's buying? <laughs> Chris has got all the up. Well, he, he's, he's the new manager for this, the new manager for that. Chris has delivered all our boats recently, so he's buying. Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing out here? I came out to see two turkeys. Two turkeys? Two turkeys. Are, are, How it, can I soar like the eagles, uh, surrounded by turkeys? Oh! All right, bro. Boom! All right, well then, you're not getting no comforters on the way back. <laughs> All right, so listen, you know we're gonna go to the factory now. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk the area that you and I walked that was not done, it was visualized while, we, while you were explaining it. Has anything changed visually from what you guys thought was the intended purpose? Welcome to Miami-Dade and we have just entered Miami. Well, not exactly guys. We're right now in Key Largo. Wait for it. It was nice to see you Miami, but we're in the Keys now. Guys, my name is Alfred Montaner and we are at Manatee Bay, a marina here for Sea Hunter. And this is the road that gets everyone in or out of Miami to the Florida Keys. You guys remember the last video that we did at Sea Hunter? They said that they had the boat that they cut in half and they put a motor on and then they drove it. Well, that's the boat, guys. And with Alfred Montaner, we might, we might do a sea trial. I'm gonna go ahead and talk with Chris. Um, from Sea Hunter, and we're gonna go ahead and walk. We're gonna show this actual marina here because this is their service center. And if you guys recall the other video that we did at the factory with Eddie, he mentioned the word compound. And, uh, oh boy, we're not gonna be able to go in. Wait for it, yeah, we'll get in guys. We'll get in. USA is in the house. All right, 99 Morris Lane. Looks like that's the address. Let's see if we can squeeze in here and begin this video, guys. Welcome to Sea Hunter in the Keys. Ooh, I'm already liking what I see. Damn, look at this. Is this a houseboat? Oh, man, I'm going to have fun, guys. We're going to have a good time over here. Eddie said that he was going to be in the sales center. Wait for it. Boom! Oh! Alfred! Welcome to Sea Hunter! <laughs> Welcome to the sales office. What's up, man? What's up, man? How are you? Good. Good. Dude. Welcome. Welcome to the compound. Welcome to Sea Hunter Marina. So I just took them to the Miami Dade sign and I went to Miami Dade and then I crossed to the other side and it's Key Largo. You're on island time now. Let's go guys. <laughs> Come here. Um, so I want to jump out of here. As much as I like sales offices, I really don't want to show the sales office. Yeah. Why? Because my lens is going to fog up with all this humidity in, uh, in summer. First of all, introduce yourself, Chris, because maybe some people have not seen you in prior videos and we've done videos on the actual boats. Yeah. You're one of the captains one of the sales guys, one of the managers. I heard there's other things that are happening too that you're now doing. Yeah, so I'm Captain Chris Delgado. Um, I've been with Sea Hunter a really long time. And uh, recently now I've transitioned. The last time you guys saw me on one of the videos, I was just running the boats for the company and doing all the QC work and then doing the deliveries. But now I've transitioned 100% uh, into sales. And I've also taken a new position here with the company being the uh, sales manager for Tidewater Boats, which we also sell here at Manatee Bay Marina. So not only Sea Hunters, but also Tidewater Boats. And we have a very- Is this a barge here? Is yeah. the, the, your... So our sales office is actually a barge. It's a floating barge. I love, cool. I love that. Yeah. It's so cool. Yeah. All right, so, so 
let's go back to the video that Eddie did, had, had walked with us and you also walked, walked with us too. Yeah. We talked about this compound. This is a service compound. So yeah, everything here we do, we do pretty much anything you can think of, we can do it here, right? So this is our sale. We do some sales here, but mostly we all our customers can bring their boats here. They can do uh, service, um, initial services, like your 20 hour service when you get first take delivery your boat. Okay. And uh, we can do 3,000 hour services. We do repowers also on our Sea Hunters and, and other boats. Uh, yeah, we're a Yamaha uh, repower center. Okay. So, we do we can do a lot here we have so we have a shop. huge cat right here what's that what cat is that so over here is our 41 uh cts with a tower it was actually just uh repowered with yamahas now so it's got what, yamaha 425 what did it have before it had mercury 300s mercury 300s so we just added a little bit more power wow and this this is the boat here that you guys talked about that you guys and it's still got the Varados on them. They're there, man. There it is. That's the cup boat. That's the one we dropped. That's the one we cut in half. You might have seen it at some of the boat shows. Until, uh, some of the manufacturers got mad that we were running around in this thing and getting too much publicity out of it. Yeah, pu publicity. <laughs> okay, so this is a, a perfect example, right? Yeah. You're going to have service done on the racks. Do you guys do... I'm assuming you have some other place to do the repowers. Yeah, so we have just a certain section where it's a little bit easier for the guys, where they have cover, they, you know, they can work in there, pull the motors off. But here, like you can see, we also do just uh, what, refurbishment and also rebuilding of the lower units. Lower the units. Ooh. Lower units. Okay, so I, I see a ramp here. Oh, can we film a chit show here? I got to talk to Ralph. <laughs> We're pretty good around here. I don't think we don't have too many uh, episodes <laughs> like that. Hey, if you wait at a boat ramp long enough, wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah. Okay, so this is a ramp that you guys use. So a customer of yours wants to launch here. Or you guys have some service that you got to go in and out. Now, you told me also on the phone, you have a huge forklift on the way or something here. Yeah, so one of the cool things that we're doing now, and you're going to see it as we walk through. Okay. We got a nice big forklift coming, and that's going to just make us more efficient in moving boats and getting them in and out. So the, there's construction being done now that you can see, you'll see in the video as we walk around to prepare for that oh all right. all right come come on guys i want okay so i see monster monster just more monster boats here what you you can have up to a 46 here yeah so we put in our 46s here the big cats and then the 45 mono hull which we just unveiled at the miami show we're going into which we did a video of by the way guys yeah. yes so are you here 100 percent of the time now what's the story here i'm probably 60 40 here 60 percent 40 percent at the factory checking on my builds and uh and just trying to help out in any way that i can at the factory you know a lot of people had asked me how remember when we did the factory video we didn't get to the new part how did that come out it's amazing it's really really beautiful it's uh one of the cool parts is seeing the amount of boats that we have in there and i'm hoping would, that would you would you have time will we will we do it can we or no if you no, no, listen, I'll do it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. I, I'm down. Okay. So, so we can go from here over there. Yeah, and it All right. actually works out perfectly. I got to take a boat to Blackpool. Oh, wait a second. We got a grandpa boat. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. You know that I'm doing the grandpa series right now. Really? Yeah. Oh. I got a little pontoon boat here in the Keys. The Keys is what made me buy it. I went to go have lunch with him, Mrs. Montaner. Oh. And uh, while we were on the way on the side of the road, there was a pontoon boat. And I was like, honey... <laughs> I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go buy. A, I'm gonna buy buy a pontoon. <laughs> All right. So look here. This is our, our bottom paint booth. So boat, this boat's being prepped uh, for bottom paint. So that's just one of the other things that we do here at Manatee Bay. Right? So if you want to keep your boat in the water, remove barnacles, all the good stuff. Right. You can do it. Actually, we just here. did a crazy uh, job the other day. My son was helping a friend of mine's do um, basically. A barnacle removal and it's oh, it's a lot no fun. it's a lot of work just, just bring here we'll, we'll take care of it. no no listen listen <laughs> he's 17 dude and oh, he, he 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 needs he needs to learn that okay this 40 41 looks unbelievable dude wow this is a really nice boat so this is already a customer's they got the repower yeah. done mm -hmm. they're waiting to pull it away and they're gone yeah this is actually gonna go back in the water because since it has a tower we can't trailer it okay we could break it down but we, he runs it by water but it's going back to the west coast so here, this is where the boat's coming in out of the water. As you can see, the guys are working here laying concrete down. Well, the foundation to lay the concrete for the new uh, forklift that's coming. That's gonna, it's a game changer for us. 
is now we're having to use a four post crane, which is actually the, one of the biggest ones in Key Largo, in the uh, lower keys, sorry. Okay. Actually, no, sorry, we're upper keys, right? Upper keys. Uh-huh. But now what we're gonna do is we're going to the, for, we're gonna use the forklift. So it's just gonna make things a little bit easier for the guys working here and also more, much more efficient. So boom, they come in, move around, put them on the racks. All right, guys. Wow. So, all right, look, perfect example. So this is one of your service guys? Yeah, so this is Caesar. This is one of our techs, one of our awesome techs that we have here. Um, he's going through the service. I think he just finished the lower units and he's working now on the engines. What's his name? Caesar. Caesar, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, sorry to put a camera on your face, but we're here filming uh, at Sea Hunter. So you're one of the techs here that does this stuff? Yeah, one of the techs that does mainly services and repowers. What do you got going on this? A service here? Just wrapped up the service. It's a better maintenance on, a, on all these bushes that get super corroded here. Mm -hmm. Make them borderline impossible to close. Those are open. So just cleaning them up, swapping bushes. Right? So you go to all the boats and service them directly on the racks, mostly what you, what you guys do? Yeah, unless we have it on a trailer, we'll move it back in the bay if it's free up down there. What about your repowers? We try to put them under the bay. Under here? Yeah, so over here in the blue building. Well, listen, uh, I don't want to stop you from doing your job, but okay. cool. I saw some other stuff over there on the other side as well. So, hey, if we got more questions, we're going to ask you guys. <laughs> yeah, so if you pan, all, pan right, then you can see what he was talking about, the, the blue building, where we try to tuck the boats in. We have a 45 back there that we're, uh, we're doing like a full repower. Like, I'm sorry, not repower, but like a refit almost. That one was damaged in that tornado in uh, West Palm Beach. Supposedly, I think they said there was a car sitting on the bow of it at some point. I'm sure there's a picture on the internet. Somewhere there's gonna be one. <laughs> All right, so which one is this one here? So this is also a 41 CTS that's in for service. This one I think is just getting uh, just its regular 100 hour service. So, so how bad was the damage on the car? <laughs> <laughs> I saw how you guys make these boats. Yeah. The <laughs> how bad was it? The car was a bit bad shape. Oh, okay. They, they, so, oh wait a second do you take restoration or work or like that back to the shop to to the factory or do you do it here so everything is done here this is this really is our, this is our home our home base for any type of like repairs that type of work. wow from replacing tanks mm -hmm. we have an awesome team of finishers as you can see if you look that direction you can see that there's a, they're painting some uh, lower units right now oh okay that is you know oh look who's back there don't run from me <laughs> don't run from the camera we're filming <laughs> okay she's still running <laughs> she's gone so so we got service, paint, gel coat. Can you do gel coat here if you had to? Gel coat work. Our guys, luckily we have a team of guys that can do gel coat work. They okay. can do actual paint work also, depending on you know what is done to the boat or, or what they need to do to an engine cowling or anything like that. Nice. Okay, so, so we got to definitely find the thumbnail of, uh, of this with a boat on, with a car on top. This was all repaired. This was, this was a big damage here on the whole boat itself. And the guys have gone through and actually repaired the whole thing. They've actually done non-skid work on the top. They put whole new pads of non-skid on it. Nice. So our guys are extremely good at bringing these boats back to life. So I'm assuming, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you're like an international sensation now, right? I tell you what, thanks a lot. Cause now people actually like see me on the road and like, Hey, I saw you on YouTube. Okay. Just a visual. We have how many slots for, for uh, on the water, uh, off the water in, in the hard dock that we can on put hard, on here? At least, I would say at least 75, 75 boats on the hard, plus what we have that we can put in the water and all these wet slips around the whole marina. We literally have a perimeter full of areas to park boats, right? So we have some that are gonna park backwards, some sideways, some to the side. So this is a pretty big, big marina. Yeah. I, I, you know what, personally, I've never been here but I remember Ralph was telling me one day that I had spoken to him. He's like, yeah, you gotta come by. We got a whole marina and sometimes you guys also ride boats right off an area that you guys call your own, like not Lake X, but you go, what do you call it? Lake, lake something? Lake Sea Hunter. Lake Sea Hunter. <laughs> but it's not really a lake. No, no, it's the bay. 
It's the bay. It's the bay, but it's our own little space there. Allows us to do prop testing. Um, even is this the, we're developing a new hall. That's this is where we do our testing. Is this the 39? So this is a 39 dual row seating. This boat's actually available for sale if anybody's interested. You can always reach out to me at Chris D at SeaHunterBoats.com. Chris D. He's got the forward seating, the removable forward seating. He's got a lot of really nice options. You know, you know, Daniel is helping me film over there at Black Point. He, I got a ton of footage of you guys coming in and out with boats. So you guys come from here sometimes, take the boats out on the water, get out of Black Point yeah. as well, because yeah. it's kind of closer to the factory. Yeah. That happens as well. So normally what the boats will do is they'll leave the factory by okay. trailer. They're okay. go to Black Point. We're going to launch them. All right. And in our QC process, which is what- Quality control. Do, correct is we'll run them over here. Nice. We like to put some time on the boat, so see if we can work any type of little bugs out of the boat prior to coming to the to the customer. So that's one of the beautiful things that separates us from a lot of the South Florida manufacturers is having this marina and being able to sea trial all our boats prior to the customer. To where is your marina here? So you have this slip here, this yeah, whole- so this is all our space. Anything across our little waterway here is okay. not ours, which we wish it was, but anything on the west side is all us. And if you turn around, you can see all these slips that we have here. Okay, so so you'll have all these slips available. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a, there's some big plans in the works for these slips here for a little bit more of like a permanent style dockage where you could rent out a slip. What, really what is stock. going what is going on in that building? That's what I want to know. Uh, so that's the lower unit shop upstairs where the guys work on the gear cases and all that stuff. And so those uh, the, the lower units and stuff that they were working correct, on here, right? So that after they're painted, they'll bring them up there and they'll put them all back together. So okay, so you know, a lot has changed in the world since the last time we did this video. Yeah. Boating interest rates gone up. You know, remember we were talking about the smaller boats. So you guys were like, I wish I could make more of them, right. but now you have the new facility. Yes. What's going on with the smaller boats? So the beautiful thing about this new facility is that hopefully you decide to come. I, I want. I'm, we're gonna do. We're gonna. No, no, no. Listen, we'll do it. I, I've been wanting to do it. Remember, <laughs> listen. It was a huge space. I, I would love to see how it's streamlined to out the door. I think yes. that's that's awesome because my audience likes to see how you know things are made, right? And and a lot of people don't even know this is here unless you're a sea hunter and sea hunter family. Right. So that's why I'm like, hey, listen, let's go over here. I want to talk about this place. Um, so, so that, that the smaller boats aspect, what's going on with that? Has so what has happened is, is the fact is that we're able to manufacture now at a, a much higher rate mm -hmm. without losing the quality that we look for in every single one of our builds, right? Okay. So we're just, it just becomes much more efficient. And the minute you step on the property over there and you see, you see it for yourself in the video or and even you, Alfred, mm -hmm. you'll see the difference right away from our old small building mm -hmm. to now this monstrosity of a building that we have and this is the beautiful part, which is my favorite part that I'm going to show you guys, is the welding shop, which we have in-house now rather than being, uh, you know, a couple is, blocks away. Is, is Eddie over there uh, at the other marina? I have a feeling that he's here. He's going to about to see trial somebody and possibly may meet us over there. So I think we're going to bump into him at some point or another. Okay, let, let's go see what's going on in here. Um, I want to see what's going on because, listen, this is, this is like Sea Hunter Central. Now, amongst these Sea Hunters, some of them are also for sale. Yeah, so we have trade-in. Um, oh that where customers are moving up and okay. with their boats. So we have trade-ins here. We also have some used boats in different sizes and different makes that people have made good decisions to come hang out with us at Sea Hunter and go away from whatever manufacturer they have. So we're trying to help those people sell their boats so you can actually trade your boat in. And uh, so what's 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 the boat that you're seeing traded in the most? Nah, 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 I'm nah, not, nah, I'm nah, not, I'm not, nah, not nah, 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 you know me. I always like to stir up the, <laughs> the pot. All right, um, so, so, so this is an active, workspace up here right yes uh, 100 percent. so upstairs here is the first stop that you're going to make up the stairs there uh -huh. it's going to be the lower unit shop where the guys work in there it's a nice workshop for them to be able to get things done build those lower units and then put them back into the into the uh, midsections of the engines there damn i think i might have to cut the video at this point dude i don't i don't uh, know you don't want to look at the back side of me no no i don't even know about that i don't know if we're gonna make it <laughs> <laughs> come on guys let's go to the very top and then we'll go inside all right um the Florida Keys, my friends. Island time, for real. Okay, you see, look. Now we get a better idea of the space that you guys have here, dude. This is huge. All right, let's keep on going up because I think the view is going to get even better. Oh, my goodness. All 
All right, um, I should have my hands on my knees right now trying to get air. <laughs> I hope nobody can hear me on this microphone. I'm and <laughs> oh, no, no, listen, I'm huffing and puffing too, guys. Look, it's, it's pretty steep over there. Okay, so this is it. Night and day from being over here in the bottom yeah. to now. Look at this, guys. All right, so you come in, right over here is the- US one. The, well, you have US one, but we also have the boat, a boat ramp right there. Yeah, exactly, where you see the small tight water, that 23 over there, that, yeah. that's our ramp. Okay, yeah. That we launch boats in and out of. Mm -hmm. And then as you can see here, all this dock space we have are for boats that are coming in for service or leaving and are ready. A lot of these boats are ready to leave. We always get a little busy towards the end of the week where these boats are getting ready to go out. And this is gonna be also the new stuff. And we have Caesar here working where we just talked to him. Yep. Imagine there's only ten, there's 10 boats across this hard uh, on the hard here. Okay, so this now I see where you're saying what you call Lake Sea Hunter. Yes. So, so I already see some boats coming in and out. That's you said we will go. You don't have any boats that got to go back to Black Point? Possibly. I mean, I don't know if you know. We can go. I, 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 I have a truck over there because Daniel's car is there. Let's roll. We can jump in a 39. And take a boat ride. I'll show you guys Lake X, Lake uh, Sea Hunter, not Lake X. And uh, yeah, man, we'll keep breaking our way, and it, it, we'll end up having somebody pick us up, and we'll go to the factory. Okay, so off the record, how's the snook or the tarpon fishing here, dude? Uh, I can neither confirm nor deny any of that. <laughs> this thing looks good. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, if you guys want to be familiar with the areas, oh boy, I'm gonna go backwards. Here, you can go the opposite way. I always go backwards. Everybody wants to look at me going down the stairs. Oh boy. Somebody's already calling me. But they're gonna have to wait, guys. Yeah, you know, I always go backwards when I'm going uh, downstairs. Especially really steep ones. Yeah. Very safe sorry when you're holding a 30 pound camera in your hand. I still will challenge anybody to uh to an arm wrestling uh, challenge yeah. all day, every day. <laughs> okay. Oh, shoot. Yes. We didn't show what was in that door. Ah, oh, man, we forgot. Time to go back up. Damn it. This is, I'm actually trying to lose weight. That's why we yeah. did that. <laughs> I, I need somebody in. Wait, guys. Huff and puff here at the boat ramp. I'm gonna get it for you. Good. All right, we got this open. There you go. So this is lower unit central. Yeah, this is the home base. Dude, look how many lower units you guys have to redo. A lot of times we try, we rebuild some that we have here, so we have them ready. If somebody does come in, okay, we can just turn it around real quick get them back out of the water. It's one of the beautiful things. You're running from Miami to the Keys, you have a problem, guess what? Stop in here real quick. We pull you out, we fix your boat, and you keep going. And you don't lose your vacation. And these guys have the best view of Lake Sihan. <laughs> this is a pretty nice view. Yes, yeah, it's, nice. it's better up there. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back up. Come on. Okay, we, let's we'll go. Start, huh, three, three. The 400 <laughs> calories. <laughs> no, let's oh, go, guys. You want to watch this. No, no. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so primarily, what do you think somebody that's interested in Sea Hunter? Service side, they've seen some of the factory side, we're probably going out to the factory again. Yeah. What do you think is the, the thing that's gonna drive people to, to, to go to Sea Hunter? I think it's the personability of all of us, right? Um, we're a family here. Yeah. It's a very big family aspect, uh, working for this company, and we translate that to our customers. Um, and that's one of the biggest things that I always, the boats usually do the talking. I let the boats do the talking. They sell themselves. Mm -hmm. but what really we really sell is we're selling the personability, the fact that you have us in your pocket at all times when you do take your boat with you. Yeah. I, have, I get called at six in the morning, at five in the afternoon when guys are getting, getting ready to go out or coming back in and they don't know how to shut things off or turn things on. That's where we shine. You're yeah. Always going to get an answer. And I think I think the video that we did on the forty six that you showed that there's like an orientation of how to yeah. use your boat and all that, you know, it could be eight hours, it could be all day. Yeah. 
So for somebody that might really want to get in depth, you guys just kind of hang out and hold their hand throughout the whole process 100%. as long as they need. And you know, that's one of the things that separates us from other manufacturers. Uh, you know, we'll never knock another manufacturer, but I tell you what, there's nobody that's going to do it better than us when it comes to the, the personal aspect that you get from us. You're part of this family now. You're not just a whole ID number. You're the uh, C-Hunter family. I, I'm seeing that with, uh, and, and is there another compound or, because or, we have the tent, the, fa the factory, and now here. So there's three. Is there anything else in the works that we don't know about or any new boats that we got to talk about? You know, you got to come see us at uh, Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. So you don't want to tell them about the boat. So you, you do have a new boat. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. All right, guys. <laughs> it's time to end this video. Well, listen up. Um, I'm going to. All right. So we can take a boat ride. Let's go. Let's turn the AC on because it's hot. I don't know about you. Yeah. Uh, 80 miles an hour, 70. <laughs> I will run any speed that makes me stop sweating. All right, guys, let's go. We're going to get on the boat. We're going to go probably to Black Point. Yeah, we're going to run to Black Point, and then we're going to get a ride, ride over to the factory. All right, guys, we'll be right back. Let's go. Well, well actually, you know, we'll see you at the factory. Let's wait, go. wait for it. Wait, 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 wait. So we actually, this is actually what you were talking about. Yeah, so this is a like perfect timing. Could have gotten better. You know, I'm walking around now, the guys are ready to pull a motor off. And here's what our guys do. This is what makes us special. You know, another repower so, being done here. So they're they're pulling out the whole power head completely. The whole motor's coming off. Oh, the whole mo the whole motor. The whole motor. That thing is coming off. Hold on, let me get on the other side, guys. I wanna... All right. So, they're pulling these off. Somebody's gonna repower with some other engines. Yep. What do you guys do with the engines? We sell these motors. So you... if you're looking to repower your boat, and you're looking for Mercury 300s, you know where to come. You can reach out to me again, Chris D at SeaHunterBoats.com. Do you see a lot of takeoffs? You, like like a lot of people are repowering and that boat was probably functioning fine without a problem right yeah it they ran just super want to, well. they just want to repower it ran super well we have the ability to go to yamaha now mm -hmm. he has the ability to purchase them and it's all worked out so what are they going to go into on this boat he's going to get a set of 425s on the back of it another 425 yeah what's up with yamaha and 425s what's it's that video we did yeah you it was that video we did Frank. Nico, you know I host a chit show. I don't know if you know that. I've been on there. Oh, you've been on there? Yeah, well, damn. I don't know. He, he wasn't too happy about that one. I know. He must have been hitting something. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't hit anything that pretty luckily. <laughs> look at the look at the bolts, guys. They're coming out. Look, 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 guys. That's what he's doing right now. Alright, we'll we'll let you guys work. We'll let these guys work. Alright. Um Guys, we're going to continue with the walkthrough, and how, how awesome is that? This is what makes us special. This is what makes us different, and I love being part of that. That is cool. Um, when does that forklift come in? That forklift comes in, I think, as soon as this pad is done, the forklift comes. Um, I th I thought there. <laughs> we're in a little cube in there. All right, so, <laughs> okay, so who operates, is there like a... There's somebody who operates this whole marina? Yeah, um, he's actually, I saw him earlier. His name is, is Mark, Mark Berta. Okay. Um, world famous Mark Berta. He's our guy. Um, he's helped us out. He's been with the company for a really long time. Mm -hmm. He does a lot of the whole development with us, prop testing. Um, on top of that, I know he's a master mechanic. Uh, Yamaha master mechanic, I think it is. Don't quote me on these terms, right? But yeah. I know that he's got like one of the highest... Uh, certifications with Yamaha. I know he's Mercury certified also, I think. But yeah, that's our guy. He runs us the show here and helps us out. And we also have some awesome guys in the uh, in the office. Uh, Brian and James working in there, getting everybody lined up and boats coming in, boats going out. Make sure, you know, everything's going the right way. You're going to forget somebody and they're going to no, get mad at you. They're going to get so mad at me. That's fine. But listen, I got to get my stuff. We're going to jump on the boat now. We're going to yeah. do, we're going to go to Black Point. Hey, Black Point. Let so, me. Actually, you know what? We're going to get some, uh, what are we? Conk fritters? Conk fritters, guys. <laughs> Wait for it.
I'm excited to see how the whole factory looks. I really am. Yeah, I'm excited to bring it. I'm really happy that this is actually happening. All right, guys, let's go. You think, uh, you think he might want to come? I don't know. Doesn't he have a sea trail? He has a sea trail and I'm with some customers. And I think he's going to take that and run with it. Have we done a video on the 39 uh, on the water? No. We haven't. No, so we've done, you and I did the 46, right? Yeah. The 46. And then... Is this ready to go? For, is seriously ready for to go? I'm like, this is like, we're still on camera, but... Yeah, come on. So, cool part about this, but this is our first dual row seating 39 that we've done. Okay. So, this is a, this is a unique, a unique boat. So, you saw me there doing was just turning on the, the battery switches. You need me on. to take off my shoes? No, hop in. You sure? Yep. Hey, what's up with the current here? This current rips, huh? The current's really bad here. Look at this. Look at this. I see the current there. Wait a second. I might have to work that boat rep for real. <laughs> hey, you guys don't own the air yet. <laughs> Drone time over here on Manatee Bay. Oh, man. What are these, 400s? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. How did this become? How did this become a Citra on a 39 again? I'm just curious. Hey, you know we're always ready to show off. <laughs> what? This is wild, guys. Nice. This thing is nice, man. Oh, look who's here. Wait a second. Bro, we said Kung Fritters from Alabama Jacks. All of a sudden, Eddie, Eddie pops up. Who's buying? <laughs> Chris has got all the up. Well, he, he's, he's the new manager for this, the new manager for that. Chris has delivered all our boats recently, so he's buying. Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing out here? I came out to see two turkeys. Two turkeys? Two turkeys. Uh, they are, uh, How can I soar like the eagles, uh, surrounded by turkey? Oh! Fire, bro. Boom! All right, well then, you're not getting no comforters on the way back. <laughs> All right, so listen, you know we're going to go to the factory now. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk the area that you and I walked that was not done. It was visualized while, we, while you were explaining it. Has anything changed visually from what you guys thought was the intended purpose? Yes, we're still dealing with parts shortages so we've got maybe 60 boats on the floor okay and they're all over the place so, 60 boats yeah. that's almost more boats than here yeah. dude there's 60 boats. boats you didn't say nothing about 60 boats on the floor that's that's like all the boats that are in this whole marina you blew my surprise man what the you're gonna be surprised when you see how busy that shot yes yeah. compared to the old one what should i expect on this boat ride right now because you know we're gonna go to black point right now so this gonna be very comfortable Right, it's a windy day. Yeah. You're gonna enjoy it, you're gonna be comfortable. You're gonna see how solid the boat rides. Mm -hmm. Everything about the boat is just gonna be comfort and well built. Hey, do I have a good captain here or no? You have a great captain. Should I worry? Always worry. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> oh, he's using the joystick. Those joysticks are the death of the chit show. Listen, you know. The old school guys don't use joysticks. No. Oh, <laughs> cheap shot at the end. Okay, fine, I get that. Hey. I are you, are you gonna go back to the factory after your sea trial? Yes. What boat are you sea trialing? 33. 33. 33 if you All right, good to see you, Eddie. No. Let me tell you something. This thing feels massive. She's big and she's big, but she's fast and nimble. Okay, so, so the 33 buyer will jump up to 39 like this, or a 37, or what? What is? What's the? What's the? The pro progress of of all the people that you're trying to, yeah, to cater try to. to push to the point where, not push, but I think that's the wrong word to use, but to encourage somebody to make a step that they really feel that they've made a step up in boat, right? So yeah. like your 31 guy is probably gonna push into a 35. Your 35 guy, you're gonna push them into a 39. And your 39 guy's always gonna end up going towards the 45, right? Wow, so this, this does feel like the keys now, like, like, you know, it's so funny because we really don't associate the keys until we pass Gilbert's, right? Right, of course, the big but bridge, right? That's right, the big bridge, which is, you know, remember that bridge wasn't there before. Right, I remember when it was a drawbridge getting yeah. stuck there. Yes, and it was a mission. Yeah. And then they fixed US-1 and all of a sudden it became some... So, 
so you have you have look at this guys look at this there's there's fifth wheels back here oh man guys this is the florida keys at its finest Going in here. A restaurant here? In this yellow building. In this one here? That's what they told me. Really? What? Let me tell you something. That property right there, probably many people didn't know it existed. And it's prime, prime keys. I mean, this is right next to like all the good fishing. We're not far from Ocean Reef. Right. Oh shoot, there's a sunk boat over there. Yeah. What the hell happened there? I don't know. It wasn't a sea hunter. That's Definitely what happened. Not a sea hunter. <laughs> Damn. All right, guys. Because you guys got foam. We're foam filled. <laughs> we're never going to the bottom. <laughs> All right, guys. The key. Okay, so this is what you, you said is your lake X class. Right. Uh, slash. Lake sea hunter. It's your lake sea hunter. This yep. is, you know how Mercury has their own lake? Correct. You guys have your own now. Is uh is Monroe County going to be happy about na you naming this over here today on the Chit Show? <laughs> Don't tell me. I, will, I won't tell you. <laughs> I, will, I will say nothing either, guys. <laughs> All right, so tell me a little bit about this per, uh, particular boat. Like, so we got dual garments on this. Yeah, this one's got dual 22-inch screens. Mm -hmm. Okay, he went with a, a different option, which is the flush mount option. All right. Which goes away from what uh, we normally build, which is the, in, the carbon fiber inlay. Okay. Okay, with a cover on it. But that's a pure option. We, we personally like the, the carbon fiber inlay with a recessed back. But this one, like I said, it has our customary uh, aircraft style quality switches. Yeah. Okay, fusion stereo. It's got your mercury gauges on this side, trim tabs, and then your joystick. And you said this is the first this dual roll? One with dual row seating. And this was a customer's boat that wanted like? Yep, and he built it like this. All right, so wait a second. Is it can you really open it up here? Like, where, at what point is it a no wake after after this? Yeah, we gotta pass a couple of these markers here. Gotta okay. Make sure I have enough water, and off we go. How deep are we ta talking about here? Um, I'm, I have three feet under the boat here, so I imagine it's probably about four and a half feet deep. Um, what would this draft? We're right at the at the point where I I'm close to wanting to put it on plane. Um, see, we're starting to see the twos. It gets a little shallower, and then it'll get deeper again. See, we're seeing two foot, yeah. you know, two point eight. Um. Reason being too, it's not my boat. Last thing I want to do is knock the bottom and knock a skeg off. Wait a second, look at this. There's there's a bunch of boats out here just live live aboards. Yeah. Oh man, guys, you, you know what? I gotta I gotta get back on my dinghy, bro. You can come run around back here. You can use our you can use our ramp, dude. I gotta do the dinghy series around here, guys. What do you guys think? Dinghy series over here? All right, um well listen, it's all you. There's guys, there's a sunk boat over there. That's the one that Oh man. I'm sure that's not marked at night. Definitely not. Yeah, that's one of the things that I always tell people to, you know, mark an actual dangerous point and just type in danger, danger or something like right. that on their waypoint. Yeah. Because if it's not marked on the GPS, you never know. You never know. And you're probably coming in thinking something's happening. Especially so, running at night. You know? Yeah, if you're running, guys, if you see something during the day and you're on the water and you think it's going to be dangerous during the day and it's not marked, mark it yourself and put danger on it so you know, hey, this at night, you know, maybe you weren't intended to come in at night, but right. you, you know, all of a sudden That's something awesome. happened. Yeah, something happened. Whatever. All right, um, I'm gonna be back here. Okay. If you ready to rumble? I'm about to jump on plane, yeah. All right, you, you go. Go, go, I'm ready, I'm, I'm, I'm down. Ready? Yeah, all right, guys, let's go, the 39. Let's open this. Would this bad boy go? Well, I'm running 53 now. She'll run way more than that. She'll do more than 53. Oh yeah. Oh really? So so there is a confident oh yeah on that one. <laughs> so you're this is a good cruise speed for her? I mean I'm pushing a little hard. This is first thing I like to be somewhere on like that 47, 48 mark. Okay. Alright guys, let's see what we got going on here. 
Alright. Damn it! My hat, man. Cago la mierda. I lost my hat. All right, guys, well, I lost my hat. I lost my favorite hat, bro. I'll give you mine. No, there's, that one was irreplaceable, dude. We can turn around. Nah, nah, we're going to Black Point, guys. Okay. Be right back. Hey, we'll see, uh, we'll see you at the marina. At the Bama Jacks. At the Bama Jacks, seriously. Right, we're going to go let's go, let's go. Right. I'm serious, I'm serious, let's go. Wait for it. Let's go. Welcome to Sea Hunter, my friends. I'm Vermont Denny here, and we are at the factory. Chris. Yo. Hey. What's up, buddy? We got to Wait. Who's driving this thing? I don't know. Autopilot. I'm trusting my life with you, kid. <laughs> All right, bring me down. I want to show right. them the. I want to show them. The whole factory, guys. All right, let's do it. All right, guys. If you have not watched the prior video that we did here at Sea Hunter, you're going to want to watch this video. We're going to do a walking tour of the entire factory here, and uh, it should be interesting. We're going, you know, how we do. Um, no edits or minimal edits, and uh, let's see what happens over here. Look, these guys. Okay, so we're going essentially from the end in which way the boats will actually leave and uh all right so here we are okay so we just got back black point was dead whatever you didn't crash whatever it's all right it's all right <laughs> whatever um now what we have is this is what i was telling him this is where all the boats leave yeah. to go to their customers right. eventually exactly so the boats that are here are, are either just coming back from a quick sea trial or finishing production, which is what's called Station 7. Mm -hmm. They're about to go into the showroom. Your mic is good, right? You, we, you were still good? Yeah. Okay, let's check that real quick before we, we continue. Sorry. Okay. Good? No, we're good, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, we're coming into what's called Station 7 now. Okay. Okay, so these are the boats that are in production. Okay. And they're getting ready to either be sea trialed for uh, QC or they have already been QC'd. We're going to work that last little bit of the list, make sure the boat's good, and then ready to go to delivery. And then what we'll do is we'll move them into the showroom, show them to the customer, put the boat in the water, and off they go. So the showroom is the, is the area that they had AC last time that Correct. we walked in? Yes. Okay. Um, okay, guys, let's go ahead and walk. Let's go see what we're going to... What, what boat is this right here, almost out the door? Okay, so what you got here is the 28 Floridian. You can see they're putting in the, the upholstery, which is one of the last things we do. We need oh. that for last, so we make sure that the guys are done, you know, producing the boat, and then cushions go in, and then off it goes. This is such a popular boat, dude. Yeah, this is definitely our most popular boat right now. Do you have a designated role for any certain boat, or no? I'm like, sorry, what was the Is question? there a designated role, like the 45s on okay, the middle? Yeah, so the way we try to organize things is that this lane over here is always the smaller boats, the 28. Sometimes the 31. Okay. And then we try to manage like the 31, the 33, the 39, down the middle, and then the cats all the way on the outside. On the outside. Yeah. And all the doors are the same. Yeah. Yeah, definitely the same height. Some of the boats barely fit, but they make it. So what happens when you guys want to build a 60 footer? I don't know. We're gonna have to maybe open up make, door. make another building. <laughs> hey, it's easy. It's a metal building. We just cut it. <laughs> all right, guys. Okay. So tell me some of the stages and and how like on the floor like so yeah like i said this is station seven this area of final production uh t-tops are going on guys are starting to wrap things up we're almost done with the build 
And then as we work our way through, we're actually gonna work our way backwards, right? We're gonna work our way from station seven, which is the final production, all the way into lamination. Yeah. And last time, everything was in the, most of the stuff was in the main building. Yeah, pretty much the last time you guys were here, if you guys remember from yes. that video we did about a year ago, this was just, we had a couple boats stored here. Everything was being done in the old building. Nice. So now you can see from that overhead shot that you just got, yes. how many boats are in here. There's over 60 boats in here. That's incredible. And no, and the, and the crazy thing is how big they are. Yeah. Yeah, so here you have a uh, 41. So can I go up there and show what they're doing? Yes, sir. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see some of these guys working a little bit. You see they're here. This boat belongs to Captain Mike on Florida Sport Fishing. Captain Mike on Florida, what? Yeah, yeah Florida Sport Fishing. Okay, so, so this is his particular boat. Yeah, so this uh, one be almost ready, waiting on motors. So do you have customers that come like on a daily to see how the progress is on the I boat? I wouldn't say on the daily, but definitely multiple times throughout the build process. Okay. And we actually enjoy that because I guess for them to see the whole process, I even try to bring customers in when we're pulling the boat out of the mold, like their baby's being born. Yeah. I always try to oh, time it with that. Yeah. This is your baby. Yeah, oh. it comes, boom, it comes out of the mold. It's wow. beautiful. It's actually a really cool thing. Okay, so what do we got here? What holes do we have right in front of us Okay, here? so what we're looking at here, this is a 35. Okay, this is gonna be a 31. 35, and what's this here? So that's gonna be the customer name, size, and the color. Sometimes Benjamin, you your there. boat is almost at the end. <laughs> that is awesome. So hey, you have everybody's name marked on there. Yeah, we try to. At some point, somewhere in the hall, it's gonna have it. Like this boat here is getting, it's to, uh, to be able to tow it behind a yacht or some type of big, you know, bigger boat. Oh, so you're, you're protecting right. it there with another yeah, piece they, of This is where they hook the steel. towing bridle too. Rather than here where you would use, this is so, a lot of back. So in the tools. laminating process, yeah. that was already put in there. Plates are put in, okay. longer cut. I see a Snickers machine here somewhere. Nah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's check out the Snickers machine. All right, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, so. Wait, wait. There's no Snickers in here. I was looking for the Pan Con Vite, but they didn't have it. <laughs> All right, so what's going on here? All right, so what you're seeing here is the ability for us to understand what each boat is costing us to, to produce, right? Down to, uh, you know, drill bits. Uh, if you look over here, you have, you know, uh, La Paleta. I forgot how to say it in English, but, you know, your scrapers, your scrapers, and, and, right? All these different things, markers, even down to markers. We're understanding each worker comes, puts their code in, it dispenses it, and then from there we're understanding what each boat has actually cost us in the production. The other thing too, it makes it a little bit more efficient because the guys aren't having to walk all the way down to our, our parts room to be able to ask for one marker. Here they can come five feet or 10 feet off of a boat, mark a thing. So you know if out. somebody is losing 10 markers a, a month. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Wait, we have to have a marker yeah, talk. Hey, marker, co marker conversation. Ma marker com up. conversation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's 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 awesome because it gives them the flexibility of getting what they need. Right. And at the same time, you guys can measure what they need yeah. more. Yeah. Or maybe we're ordering too much of one thing that we're really not using, so we can back that off and maybe okay. put that money that we're spending there into something else. Wow, this is crazy. So this Dude, is let our me tell you. area. Okay, so. Okay, so the the. That was, I remember, that was the actual showroom over there. Yeah, so that was the showroom over there. Okay. Okay, and then right when you walk out the door, that's our powder coating room. Oh, okay. That's our powder coating so, station, sorry. So let's go, let's go to powder coating real quick. Okay. Well, let's take a, let's take a, so you, you were telling me over there that you guys are now doing uh, all your metal work in-house. Yeah, so we have our own welding shop. We've had it, but now it's in-house inside the same facility, whereas before it was in another warehouse a block or two away. So what's happening is now is the piping is coming from the welding shop. And okay. if you order your boat with powder coating, you're gonna bring it right over here. You're gonna choose your color and we're gonna do it right here at the shop. So we're you not guys- We're gonna outsource anything. So this is, this is where you guys heat it up? That's the, the oven? Yeah. And it is where they shoot the powder over here on the other side. <clears throat> the other that. thing that we love is we're able to control the quality of the powder coating that we're using. Wow. Be it the actual powder itself. I don't think it's hot right now, I don't think they're using it. No, it's all right. Don't even worry okay. about it. We don't want to. But yeah, the biggest thing for us was the quality of the powder coating that was being done and the quality of the actual powder. We're buying the highest quality powder now to be able to make sure that we're giving you guys the best product possible. Wow, look at that. Look at this. The nice part is we can control it. We control everything now. 
So, so it's a matter of, hey, we don't have to wait for a vendor. No. Come, let's stay a little late. We right. gotta, no. we got some, some overtime hours. We gotta get this powder right. coated for this customer. Things just happen, yeah. whatever. Didn't we have a tornado boat over there? Yeah, you're gonna, there. Need a, you're gonna need some powder coat we on this. We may need it, and yeah. boom, we can knock it out real quick. We don't uh -huh. have to outsource it. Okay, so last time that I walked, I was walking this way, and Eddie insinuated that this is gonna be like the prototype area. Yeah, so what you're seeing is the building, the wall here. Okay. That's our, that's our prototype area. Uh, I like to call it Skunk Works. I think it's a cool name. <laughs> It's up there that most people are not, so you might want to come this way with me. Wait, 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 hold on a second. <laughs> so is there something that we can't show until the Fort uh, Lauderdale Boat Show? I just say come visit us at the Lauderdale Boat Show. Really? Yeah. It's going to be very interesting. Can you give us at least uh, an idea? Is it bigger, smaller, medium? I'm not going to put it out there. You just got to come see me. Wow, guys, we're getting, we're getting thrashed here. Okay, so all... What do we got here? So this is a, a, a molded in forward seating. Okay. So eventually it's going to be grabbed and put onto, uh, actually this is for a 35 model. Okay. Put in, it's going to be fiberglass in. It's going to be very nice and clean set up. And you're going to have a really nice forward seating area on your boat. So it's just a big option, an option that some people don't want, some people do, like the gentleman we're building. Big T-top here. There's a big T-top here. This is probably a 41 or, yeah, probably a 41 or a 39 size, uh, off model T-top. So uh, everything already that comes to this area is mostly done. Yeah, we're almost there, right? So we have some seams that we got to clean up. So what the guys are doing here is actually doing that, right? Our finisher here, he's doing a great job on it. He's working super hard. And he's over here just finishing this seam from when it was inside of the mold. When we popped it out, it just has a small seam. So we want to make it seamless. Yeah. That's what they're doing here. Okay. So you notice how we're getting closer to Skunk Works. Yeah. I'm getting a little... I don't like the way that little pole <laughs> keeps getting longer either. Guys, if we can go over, we would, but we can't. All so right. we won't. So where does the cutting happen? So that's, a, that's all the way at the beginning of the factory, at station one, all that, that's where the cutting shop is. I'm sorry, station two. So we have way more to go. Yeah, we have a lot going on right here, right? So at this point where we're at, see he's finishing up painting here, doing some work. But on the other side, we move back to the halls. This is, he's working on a console here. Nice. So this is a 45 model hull, hull number two. So you can see on the outside, what will be the port side of the factory. Yeah. Is where you're getting all the bigger model, the bigger model boats. And then uh, we work our way over to the outside to get a little bit smaller. Unreal. So transoms are being prepared here to be able to receive motors that you see grinding away here. Look, and they're they're actually adjusting a console as we speak. Right. They're dropping a console on. It's one of my customers. That's one of my builds. And I see that you guys are able to lift everything. Yeah. Which is huge, right? Yeah. Yeah, everything's overhead now. And if we can just move things, the guys can wheel it over, wheel the, the console over here. Okay. It, and bring it all the way over and drop it right on the hall. Unreal. Mike, that's your, that's your uh, console going on, buddy. I can't wait for you to see it. That's awesome. Yo, you know what's crazy is that they're actually watching their build. I know. Build. He's going to watch it because he watches you. That is too cool, dude. Oh my goodness, guys. They just want uh, to fit. And, and everybody is, look at the size of this. Look at the size of this council. You got workers everywhere. Listen, I'm so proud of the Sea Hunter team from where you guys have come to this. Thank you. Appreciate that. I mean, Ralph and everybody in the team has done a phenomenal job because look, I see here just American jobs. Right. That's, that yeah. right there for me is 100%. huge. 100%. All American jobs. Yeah. Beautiful to see this. Yeah. And uh, that is so and That's all awesome. thanks to Ralph and his creativity and him seeing the big picture for us and what we can really be and him taking the, the time to build this for us to be able to go out and sell these boats and all our guys to be able to build them. Yeah. Before you know it, you know, look, look where we're at right now. Well, I saw him here earlier. Yeah. You know, and- uh, Hands on every day. We, <laughs> we had a little small talk and stuff like that. I saw I saw this lady right here in, in a in like a, a scrubber driving a scrubber. Yeah, a scrubber or what is it? A Zamboni. The Zamboni. A Zamboni, so yes. the Zamboni. I saw that. <laughs> so keeping everything clean for, yeah. for all the workers. Yeah, she works super hard. She's here all day, making sure the boys got a nice areas to work. So there's a prob probability that we 
might see that uh, hole here. You know I'm going to be looking you for a mold or now. You may not. I'm going to look for a mold now that I haven't seen. I can neither confirm nor deny. Poor Lara goes only like two months away. It's right there. But are you, you know are you going to be ready for it? Because you know, there's we're deadlines. Gonna, we're definitely guys, doing our best. You guys got a lot of workers here. Yeah, right, we're guys. humming along here, man. Right, As you guys, can see, sometimes we're five wide. We got a 28. We got a, I think this is a 33. This is 35. Come 31. over here, let's, let's show some of this. There's so, a 33 model here. So, so on this 33, when do we have plumbing? Is it in this stage here? So plumbing is coming actually in station three. We're normally doing plumbing and decking. Okay. So that's where this boat is, is already getting all its hoses run. You're getting pretty much 90% of the plumbing done on this boat. Yeah. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this. We this one here is waiting for it. We got... So... Absolute... Is, I call this orderly chaos. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's crazy. This is crazy. Yeah. Because everybody has a job. Yeah. They have a task. You guys have systemized it from what it seems like. Right. And you're just working your way down the line all the way until you get out the door. Right, exactly. Let's go, let's go, let's go this way and continue. Um, I, I call it the ant farm. The ant farm. <laughs> it's an ant farm. So you can see we got a seafoam green 28. Then we got a white and black 28. And I will tell you, the 28 is a, one of our, our, really our most popular models. And you can see it down the line, right? Okay, and last time we talked about that is that, remember all the big boats were, were hogging up all yeah. the attention. Right. Because, you know, in the 28 is like, I was like, man, it's such a badass boat. And the Floridian is very popular. Right. Um, so, so we got multiple, multiple Floridians here down the line. Yeah. Which I think is cool because great boat for this area. Great boat for, 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 for a lot of types of fishing, yeah. family, you know, good size. You don't yeah. have to worry if gas is $18 or not. Of course. Uh, a gallon. Golly, bro, don't even please. get me started with gas, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. It's going higher. But look, check it out. Talking about gas, these are, these are our fuel tanks. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty big. Yeah, Tarco aluminum tank. And this, what a lot of companies won't do, this is not a fuel tank. This is our fresh water tank. Oh wow! We're so not putting a little plastic cheapy tank in the boat. We're putting the same quality as what you're getting in your fuel tank. You're getting in your water. How tank. big is that tank? How much does it hold? Um, I think this is probably going to be like a 30 gallon tank. I don't know which boat this is. No, for. I'm talking about the fuel. Oh, you're talking about the fuel? Yeah, this is pretty big. This is probably 600 gallons. What's up, fellas? Let's take a look here. What, what do we got? This is 500 gallons, sorry, 493, like to be exact. 493 gallons. Yep. So some of these guys now just got off of lunch. Mm -hmm. They're all coming back in. They're all coming back yeah, in. Yeah, so we're gonna have a lot of movement uh, around this. I, and I saw I saw some dominoes being played. Yeah. We definitely don't lose the heritage here. All right, all right, <laughs> guys. So we continue. So you see the guy with the red shirt there? That's the man, the myth, the legend. That's Ashley, that's our plant manager. He's the Ashley. one that makes it all happen here. All right. Do, does Ashley have a moment? Ashley probably, I don't know. I don't know if he has a moment. He's pretty busy here with our... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me finish with him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ashley. All right. Ashley's got to keep everything plumbers. moving. All right. All right. Now I know why he's the man, the myth, the legend. Dude, he don't stop, man. All right. All right. So production can't slow down. No, definitely not. And, and we Ashley got goals is a part too. of goals. what he runs the plan. He, if, if, it's for him, if it's not for him, this plan is not moving. Our guys work around him. He is, he's a okay. great leader. Okay. And has these guys working. That's why he dismissed Alfred Montaner and didn't give me five That's seconds. I'm, I'm ending this video. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's let's go continue. All right. We got more amazing builds here, guys. Okay. Getting closer to lamination. Exactly. So we're moving down now into what would be station one, two. We're uh, sorry, station two and three. We're in a zone here. This is a 38 cat that's about to receive his plumbing. I'm pretty fired up about this one because I just got, I just sold this boat. So this is going to be my first cat that I build. Really? As the, you know, the salesman for it. So I'm excited for that. There's one of the fuel tanks for it. You've come a long way, right? Yeah, um, well, you know, hustling hard. Hustling hard. Like, hey, listen, um, uh, I think you can make your own luck, right? Got to work hard. You got to work hard. 100%. Make your own luck. You got to do your own part, right? 
So look, what we're seeing here is uh, one of these, uh, the line, the caps is about to come in. It's already been trimmed. They trimmed it over on the other side. Okay. And then it's working its way in. And then the guys are going to put it on onto the... Uh, and it says over there, Station 2 Electrical. So yeah. if so you're lost... Electrical is happening here. So if you're lost, like school, like yeah. the first day of school, right? Oh, where do I go? Oh, no, no, no. I go <laughs> look for the sign. It yeah. says exactly. Station 2. Pretty cool. You can see a liner going in. So it will be the flooring of the boat. They're test fitting it right now. Oh, and to make sure it all fits let's correctly. Sh let's show that. Well, we can show it from here. Yeah. So you see, they're just making sure that everything fits correctly. If they need to do a trim or anything crazy, they're going to do it now. So when it does fall in, it's set. Okay, okay, explain the process because I know we talked about that with Eddie, but yeah. a lot of people are just getting into this for the first time. Okay. What, what's the liner? What's the cap? All okay. that stuff. Explain that. So you have because one, a lot of people don't know that process. Understood. understood. Okay, so what you have, let, let's actually look pen this way. This would be, will be the hull, right? So this is the main body of the boat, right? This is the hull of the boat. We all know, right? This yes. is the hull. And then we have other pieces. We build a three-piece boat. So the next one that you have one will be the liner, which is you're seeing over there, which will be the flooring that's being uh, cra uh, craned right now. Okay? So what that's going to do... That's so is that one in. coming on, on this one right here? No, they're test fitting it on this, uh, this oh, black hole oh, over okay. here. Okay. So what that happens is then, once that is sandwiched in there, you sit that in there. Okay. okay? We've already foam filled all the boxes. Everything's got foam on the bottom end of the boat. And explain the reason why you want foam. Foam, first of all, flotation. Mm -hmm. uh, the other reason is safety. Okay, that makes our boat quote unquote unsinkable. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, the other reason is for uh, wh why you're running the boat. Mm -hmm. It eats up all the vibration of when you hit a wave. The it clack, clack, it, clack, it, clack. it muffles everything. Yeah. And it makes a, for a much smoother, enjoyable ride on our boats. And we can see that here, guys. And it makes everything stiffer. If you see here, you see the foam. I'll be able right. to show you guys something foam. Well, that we're going to lamination now, yeah. so lamination should should yeah. get us a little bit closer to. Yeah. So we actually, we actually didn't see it, but um, anyways, there's a foam that we spray out of an actual like gun with a long tooth, and then that's where we spray it in the liner, and actually it comes up off uh, up in the hull. So I'm gonna make a quick beer instead of continuing to, to lamination. We're gonna go see the welding shop first before we go into lamination, if you don't mind. Okay. So wait, time out, time out, because I think this will this will explain exactly what we were just talking about. Hall. Liner. Liner. Oh, I got sidetracked. Sorry. Yeah, hey, listen, I got listen. You I got an order. Yes, bro. I gotta keep you in order. Okay. Right. So yes, yeah, hall. Liner, liner and then you come over here you got a cap okay okay so that's essentially what make what, what, why we're called a three-piece boat yes okay so now they're gonna go ahead and put this cap on <laughs> correct and all this stuff is uh attached two ways mechanically and also chemically yes okay so we use two uh, a bonding agent and then we also go with screws so everything is tied in together multiple ways so we know that we're never going to have any type of you know separation okay um so theoretically, this cap is going to go on here now. Yeah, they're going to work it in. I think they're going over here. Okay. I'm not sure where the guys are working. All right, let them let, let's let get them let's the get let's get them out of the yeah. way, guys. So, absolutely. So you see, you got another liner, a hull. You can kind of see the two Great. different pieces. We got hatches coming in. They're about to go to the, the uh, welding shop. I'm sorry, the cutting shop. And and not to not to minimize no what the factory was before, but right. it's a huge difference between everything operating out of this particular. Yes compared to this monster that you guys have now. 100%. So now lamination is in this building completely. Correct, which we'll make our way, but I really wanted to highlight this before we went Great. that way. Yeah, but well, this is good. Uh, anything that says do not enter, I want to go in. <laughs> That's boring, just the parts area. Oh, just, just the the expensive boxes. parts, yeah. No big deal. Yeah. All, All right, right so this is where the magic happens. I mean, to me, this is one of my favorite places to be in, in our factory, right? Wow, you guys even have a little golf cart to go around? Yeah, but they don't let me drive it. No? They don't let me, I don't know why. Wow. So only, only the most expensive boats in the plant. <laughs> yeah, but not the golf cart. <laughs> okay. So look, here is all these, these pieces of piping are getting ready to go be powder coated now. So rather than having to go on a truck across town, go to somebody else and have them do the work, now they just carry it right across to our, our uh, beautiful well welds. shop and then here we go. So we do everything here. Bend the pipe, cut the pipe, weld it all together. We have jigs, consoles so that the guys can use to be able to put these things all together so this is a console right now That's and a t-top that has a second station right oh look and it's gonna be removable 
Yeah, so this one's gonna be removable. That is, do you have like a basic uh, general T-top that you put in the majority of your boats? Yeah, so our T-tops are pretty much almost all similar looking in the way that they that they look and the way attached, right? Yeah. Now our ladder backs are almost all super similar just depending on size, right? So we go a little yeah. bit bigger, a little bit smaller. But overall, it's normally, this is, this is the kind of layout that you're gonna see. The beautiful part about us is you tell me, Chris, I wanna put another rung here with five or six more rod holders. Yeah. Some, some places you can't do that. Yeah. Because they order it and it comes out and they put it on. Here, we're like, okay, no problem. Put another pipe on, put more on, and off we go. And this door goes back into the parts department. <laughs> That's parts. the parts department. There, okay. Yeah. yeah, just All accessibility right. for the guys to be able to move in and out. That is awesome, guys. That's Danny there. That's our welding shop manager. How you going? How you doing, Danny? <laughs> so look at look at this, guys. All stainless. Look at the thickness on this. What thickness is this, Danny? Schedule 80. Huh? Schedule 80. Schedule 80. So the Schedule 80, most companies use, Danny, they use Schedule 40, right? Yeah. So most companies use Schedule 40 in their piping. We go a Schedule 80, thicker, stronger. Look at we that. We know we're never going to have Look, any failures. Listen, not for nothing, I just bought some stuff for the grandpa boat. Yeah. I got, I'm making my grandpa boat a camera boat. Okay. I just bought some tubing. It's about like 500 bucks and like four pieces. Yeah. So Imagine here. Yeah. yeah. No, listen, guys, there's a million dollars in metal here. <laughs> All right, guys. So yeah, yeah, man, like I said, this is my favorite part. I really wanted to highlight that. And then also the guys, they do such a great job here welding for us and doing all these beautiful towers for us, which make, you know, those are the, uh, those are like the sneakers, I think, of the boat, the, the, the towers, you know, like on a... Okay, so I haven't seen engines. So you can see here we got them all lined up, oh, stacked up. See all the Yamaha go. motors over there? There they go. We got some Merc motors over there. We can walk in here. You guys want to see the wall of motors? Yeah, let's go. They're dwindling down. We're starting to build pretty quick, quicker than we can get them in. Is that happening again? Yeah, are we, we're starting. You know, are, we is are we having issues again with uh, parts I and think availability? It's, or? it's gotten better. I wouldn't say it's fully fixed and 100% a go. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's definitely better. We didn't have this before. Now we do. We have a wall of motors. Well, here. I remember that Eddie had said that that was a huge challenge for you guys. Yeah. And, and Suzuki was kind of like the only person or the only company that had motors available. Yes. And now we got some Yamahas. You got some 425s that yeah. you were showing me on at over there in the Keys. Right. That they yeah. were repowering. So the guys in the Keys don't really mess with the guys over here for anything. No, because that's their home base. They live there. Our guys live here. We mix and match every once in a while where guys come in yeah. and out, but mostly wow, guys. stay to their side. All right, all right. So, and then I know what's on the other side of that wall. <laughs> Skunk Works, isn't it? Right over there? Yeah. All right, guys. Now, you, now, <laughs> now, and here's the thing. Off camera, I told Chris, hey, let me see what's going on. And he didn't even <laughs> want to show me. <laughs> Strict. Laws around this place. <laughs> Let me get wow. the door Wow. I'll find out. And we love you, man. And I'll we love your viewers, too. No, listen, I'll find out. I'll find out. All this is the piping that goes on, on the... So those are all our, our like, uh, wire and electrical runs, so that if we, you know, to pass wires and all that stuff. One second. One second, guys. Let us get through yeah. while they're doing... Getting in the way of the guys working. Hey. Sorry. Yeah, but don't. So... So definitely these large bow caps and all that stuff is, is a, it's, it's a challenge, right? Yeah, they're cumbersome, you know what I mean? They're big, they're heavy. The carts couldn't carry them, but sometimes, you know, they just get real heavy. Yeah. So this is our transitional period stage here from lamination into the main shop. And so it will be stage two. And as you can see, this is our old shop. Last time we were here, we were stuffed with boats. Yeah. <laughs> on the right side here. Now, all you have is caps, liners, uh, consoles, all the lamination is done in there. So now we're going to show them the molds. Yes, exactly. And the molds basically, so somebody understands, maybe they didn't watch the other video. Right. They'll spray a gel coat on, on the actual mold. Right. And once they have the gel coat, they'll put resin. Well, there, there's a wax on here, yes, right? To be able to release it. To re be able to release it. Right. So essentially you build a boat in a mold from the 
from the outside in. So, right, so you lay your color. Yeah. Then you go with some resin and then fiberglass. And then with us, you're gonna do uh, Kevlar. And then some more fiberglass and Kevlar and some closed cell foam and then some more fiberglass. So there's a lot of layers here. Yeah, but you guys don't like to tell anybody your laminating schedule. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, Moving yeah. on. <laughs> All right, guys, but if you wanna see something, how, how it's made, like how it looks, okay? This is how, and that's the Kevlar. Yeah, the yellow. You see this yeah, yellow yeah. Uh, that you see here, tinge? It just has crest weaving. Yes. That's what. That's a layer of Kevlar there. And it makes it more stiff. Stiff. Makes it essentially bulletproof. Uh, biggest thing is safety, right? Like we have guys that have hit things in the water, uh, submerged containers, pieces of wood. And yeah, it'll poke a hole, but it definitely will never rip open because of the Kevlar holding everything together. It's an amazing piece of technology. This is, okay. It's gonna get loud in here if yeah. we walk in. I remember this is where we started the last video. Right here. And yeah. we had a giant Big boat, right, boat right, here. right here. Yes. We've what come a, a long way, difference, man. guys. Yeah. What a difference. All right. So station one, lamination liner area. Yeah. So this is what you're seeing, right? So this is this is a mold for a liner, the one that you saw split and they were bringing it in, flipped yes. over. Yeah. Essentially, we built it upside down and from the outside in. So yes. this is what you're seeing here. You got some consoles over there. Are they are they doing any lamination now? It's like spraying or, or I think in the on the other side we'll be able to see that. It's all hand laminated, right? Yeah, no? all yeah. hand laid. All hand hand laid. Yeah. So no look, chop on there. No chop. This is the closed cell foam that we use. See, look, I can squeeze it and it just doesn't give it a very stiff little closed cell foam. Yeah. But it's also it lets you Yeah, so we can lay it yes. in and curve it and you know get it real tucked in hard. Alright. All right, and here's a perfect example. Right, exactly. Here's a perfect example of the foam, guys. So that's why you can basically stand on there, a bigger guy like myself, nothing's gonna happen, it's very stiff. Yeah, it's extremely stiff and it's gonna hold you. You're not gonna get a lot of like bow in. Yeah, 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 you can jump on it down, it's not gonna, yeah. and if, if that wasn't on there, it'd be a big difference. Definitely make a difference, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, let's keep on moving over here. We don't want to be in anybody's way. Maybe. But we also want to show some of the process. Yeah. This is huge, night and day difference. Yeah, I imagine this was, this was our production area before. Yes, for you everything. Know, for everything. How do you keep everything clean in, the, in an area like this? So it's actually the guys laid car paper down. And yeah. every year we change it. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I um, think we got a way to walk through here. Yeah, we're good. The guys are grinding here, ready to put another layer of fiberglass over it. So now, all this is on, more fiberglass. Yeah. Will they put another a layer of Kevlar on this side as well? The Kevlar is already laid in there. So this is just the end, this is almost the end product. Well, I remember that uh, Eddie had showed me the back of the transom. Right. And some people ask, like, how do you put five engines or four engines on a boat? Right. That's basically how, right? That and then uh, in the back we use uh, what's called a Fusa board. Yeah. Which is a synthetic board rather than what would be like a plywood, right? Yeah. That's a water, per water permeable, no water can penetrate it. So we'll see that on the other side so you can see the most. Wow, this is, <laughs> this is nuts. Yeah, it's impressive. This, this is nuts. Touch it, it's still wet. All right, guys. So here's here's an example, right? There's already some fiberglass. Right. And let's see if they can show how they're they're doing some of this, right? Yeah, they're cutting here. Got it. So obviously there's different patterns in which they lay the fiber yeah. fiberglass. Yeah. It's not gonna go all one way, guys. No. And every manufacturer does things a little differently. Yeah. So not everybody wants to show how they do it. Right, their schedule and yeah. how they... Yeah. So guys are laying bulkheads in here now. Give it the rigidity. Okay, what are you using with the bulkheads? Foam as well? Yeah. What? Yeah, foam bulkheads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, everything's synthetic material, no wood. Uh, I'd love to show you... What would this be here? What hole would this be here? Uh, this is gonna be our 41. 41? Yep. You see how thick the transom is? It's about this thick. 
So this right here is going to be the transom. You have a little flange here, but all, overall the transom is going to be about this thick. Let me show that from the side so they can see that. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, man. See if we can move over. I think there's another hole being laminated. I'd like to see. All right, let's go see. Now, in uh, Skunk Works prototype area, what you call Skunk Works, or Area 51 in Sea Hunter, however you want to call it, there is also a big, uh, wasn't there a CNC machine in there? A massive CNC machine. Okay. That helps to cut a lot of our stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's the prototype room. Yeah. 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 Uh oh. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I, just, right. I just stepped on something. They see a guy right. here prepping to lay another layer down on that hull right there. That's a 31 hull. This one right here is a 31. Yeah. yeah, they're grinding right now, most likely, is what it looks like to me. They're gonna come in and lay a whole nother layer down. They might actually flip this already because it's ready to receive another layer. Absolutely not. The ant farm. Okay, last time we had we had uh we had uh, Ten City. Ten City. What happened to Ten City? Were we grown out of Ten City? No need for Ten There's City no anymore. No Ten City. You know our guys are all working indoors now. What okay. a beautiful thing. We're not affected by rain. We're not affected wow. by less of the heat because it's still hot. No, but it's much better here much than better. what it is outside. It's workable. Absolutely. Yeah, hey, come around. Let me show you the cooking board. Wow, guys. Look at this. This is a 28 transom. This is before it goes in, right? These are the pieces that we're going to put on the back to make it so thick and give it the rigidity that it gets. But look how many pieces we have there. So there's three pieces of crucible board there. We overbuild our boat. You could probably go with two. Yeah. But with that, that's not who we are. Yeah. We overbuild it. Well, I think you said last video, we might not get there the, the fastest, <laughs> but we'll get there. We're always going to get yeah. there. Yeah. So, so, and your boat's going to still be intact. Without a doubt. You're not going to rattle your boat to death. I am, listen, just the fact that it's been able to grow as much as it has. Which, which, what, how, how long has it been? Six, eight months since the last time we since did the last video? time we were here? I would say probably, I think, close to like 10 months, I think. So, so now you guys are just are able to pipe, you know, boats and you don't have to tell somebody three, four years yeah. to, to make a boat, yeah. right? 100%. Now you're going to be able to pump out boats yeah. much faster. Much quicker. So, Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, Miami Boat Show, all the other boat shows you yeah. guys go to, I'm assuming now you guys can actually even do your own shows over there. Which, let's walk back over there and if there's anything else we missed, because I want to go I want to go show them the the actual because we started where we would begin the video yes. where, where where they're leaving right and then it goes to the showroom correct so eventually they they'll pick up their boat at the showroom ask questions or anything like that right and then if they want a sea trial they'll probably do a sea trial with yourself yep or have you replaced yourself with someone like you there's a new guy oh there's a new guy. so we're gonna see somebody else at Blackbird possibly Edward oh for my sure, yeah. goodness. Yeah. Do I have hope though? Maybe I can get a little bing bing ba. Uh, no, 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 bing bing oh, ba here. Man. We don't play that game. There are oh, no bing bing ba here. No bing bing ba, guys. <laughs> we're gonna have, we're gonna have to see. You're gonna find another uh, manufacturer to check that out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> listen, normally, normally the guys who are doing that type of uh, work don't really mess up at the No, moment. man, no. We, you know us, man. We always bring high quality guys in. And... Okay, so we got Justin right here. Justin, Kelly. This is his boat. This is his boat. This is his baby. This is his dream boat. So it's moving along the line. That's it. She's coming down the line. So right now, Justin is Joe like, honey, come here. That's us. That's me. That's us. That's my baby. Yes. Unreal. Probably one of my favorite colors, the Pimico Blue. I love that color. Yeah. More engines here. More Yamahas. Wow, you guys are slamming. 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 The production. Hole number three of the 45 here. The 45. Wow, look at this one. This is a hole. Step inside. Brand new. All right, at least go up the ladder, I mean. Yeah, let's go. Look, you can see the length of the boat, how big it is. You guys are putting boxes in, so we're pre foam here. Look at the tank. The tank, the is, tank in. is in. Tank is in. Center tank, center line tank. Yeah. 800 gallons of fuel. Unreal. Guys, look at all this. Look at the production here. This is absolutely nuts, dude. Um,
parts to the other side. Yeah, that's where the guys get screws and all different kinds of other stuff. Let me go. So we have another, another yeah, so area. Yeah, spread it out. So that guy doesn't have to have to work in the front, doesn't have to come all the way back here. Also, we uh, we prioritize what guys will use back here more than what maybe the guy in the okay. front won't use, right? Okay. Because they're using different tools, they're different, doing different types of jobs. That is so smart. Yeah. Um, I would love to see the, the data on how much you save or waste. Yeah. I mean, that must be a, a numbers cruncher's dream right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh you know, my our... goodness. Guys, look how much we saved and look how much we lost. Look at this. There's everything here. Paint, everything. Filler. 5200, everything. Yeah. The key is not in making these guys walk far, right? What happens is you walk far, you start talking to your buddy, before you know it, you burn half an hour. And you, you weren't productive. So we're just trying to keep the guys productive and being able to move forward without having to step away from the boat. You know I did a video of how they made these trailers. The Real X? Real X trailers. I did a video at that factory. Really? I did, and I have a video of how it was made. And it's so weird that I'm here at another factory showing how the boats are made. Yeah. And I already made another factory video over there. Full circle. The full circle. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's go and... You guys want to see the showroom? Let's go to the showroom. I'm kind of hot. I don't know about yeah, you. Yeah, I think so, too. A little let's, AC? Let's, yeah, let's go to the... Some, I'll take out. some AC. Let's see some AC. And, uh... Oh, there's a Zamboni! The Zamboni. Everybody likes driving that thing. Yeah. That is awesome. Making sure everything is clean. You know, you don't see or feel a lot of dust in here like you would think. Got some really good extractors. Um, also, you know, the guys really work hard to not create dust or they are, they're trying to clean it up and keep it minimal. Yeah. Hey, have you told everybody that you lost my hat on the boat? Um, well, I didn't lose your hat. The wind blew your hat off. No. <laughs> my right hand blew I, your hat off. I think you went a little faster. I think you went a little faster. You went a little faster than what we were supposed to. Uh, maybe. Wait for it. Hey, they want to go inside? Let's go. Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, all right, we're here. So let's go check out. You want some AC? Are you hot? Um, I, pretty warm. Listen, it's, it's not terrible though. Oh, wow. Wait, uh, a yeah. second. wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. This, okay. Showroom. Yeah. Guys, what do we got here, Chris? So, t okay, tell me what you've used this so far. So, what we use this for is. Unlike in the olden days, in the old building, where mm -hmm. we had to show somebody their brand new boat that they just paid X amount of money for. Okay. On the side of a road, on the side of the building, outside, in the sun. Mm. Now, we open the garage door, we bring the boat in, we turn the AC nice and cold. Usually, all the lights are working. We had an electrical issue being taken care of, so it's a little darker in here. But the fact is, is you're in the AC. Yes. You're probably with your significant other that doesn't want to be outside in the heat. Absolutely. And now you can really enjoy looking at your boat for the first time when it's all done before it goes to the water and you're taking delivery of your boat. Wow, this is nice. The beautiful so, part is we can fit so many boats in here. We have multiple 28 footers. We have a 35. We have our 45 model haul out there on the all the way on the outside that you can't see because of beautiful red. Let's, let's go. Let's go see. Let's let's yeah. walk around. And we can still put a cat in here. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. You guys got a bar here yeah, too, baby. You know, we hey, we sell fun here. This is what it's all about, right? You cut a good deal, a big deal with uh, with a new customer. You come sit down, you have a nice drink, you enjoy yourselves. It's a it's a really cool aspect of. Have it, you uh, had any events yet here? Like yeah. So yes, we have. We had our you know our our big uh, grand opening event, and we're gonna be hosting multiple events now with uh, some of our captains that we sponsor. They're gonna be doing a couple different uh, events here and seminars, seminars too. Uh, I heard that. Seminars yes. and a couple different things. We're gonna be doing some really cool stuff in here. So this is the, the forty five right here. Yeah. Wow, this thing looks beautiful, dude. Yeah. This is hole one. She's preparing to go out to her new customer. And this is her the new door. owner, sorry. The, 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 the door she would come in and out of. Yeah, exactly. We can pull the boats in and out through here. Unreal. And don't forget, the best part, we got our basketball, our basketball hoop here. You know, I've been known to, I mean, I can't tell you I'll dunk, <laughs> but I'll tell you right now, I'll probably house I'll probably house maybe all your workers in oh, basketball. Well, you'll definitely get me, but you know what? Maybe later we'll put a little wager on it. Well, listen, I'm <laughs> telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm good at basketball. Okay. All right. <laughs> listen, I'll, I'm telling you, I'll come back. Let's see, eh? Let's see what you're made of. Okay, so 
more space then we have the office area and then essentially that would be it so yeah so the customers basically have multiple boats so you can put in here and just yeah and let's say you're a prospective customer and you're kind of confused on what size to go to yeah i can put a couple of different models in here and you can go back to back right like from one boat right into the other and then you can get the real effect of what is the right size boat for you or what is the right model for you if it maybe is a cat and then a mono hull like a 46 cat or a 45 mono yeah put them right next to each other and you go back to back and it really helps you it's almost like a boat show here yeah it's a mini boat show it's every a mini boat yeah every yeah. day mm -hmm. okay so how do we get to the okay, offices because so I, I remember walking code okay so wait hold on guys <laughs> i got i got a lot of a lot of got a lot of people that check there you go so here you go for walking into the offices here Are you in any of these pictures? Uh, maybe. So those are offices here. I don't know, I think I know this guy. <laughs> I might know that guy. Let me ask you something. Do you get paid to be like a, a photo guy? Uh, I wish. No, right? <laughs> And this is, you know, the, our nice entryway here into into the factory when you come visit us. With and I, I do remember that. Um, I do remember. Oh, look at that. That was Bernie, right? That was Bernie. That's and Ber Bernie was like a big time fisherman. Yeah, was. Was. No, what happened? Yeah, what yeah, happened? Yeah, oh, no, no, we got to no. talk about Bernie. No, no, no. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie's a big time fisherman. Yeah, yeah, he's hardcore. Yeah, he's hardcore because yeah. I remember following Bernie. There's Christian. So, hi, Christian. Beautiful face at the front desk. So, we're done. Um, you greet a lot of people that come for the first time to see Sea Hunter people, right? That's her job. Her job. And there's a big sign in the front that says Sea Hunter. Yeah. And there's AC when they're hot. Yes. And then they walk into that showroom and eventually, do you walk to the actual customers through the assembly line as well? Yeah, that's one of the beautiful parts about what we do is, mm -hmm. is giving these our, our customers and prospective customers the ability to see the whole process from uh, lamination okay all the way through to the finished product where they're seeing their boat in the showroom and it really helps for them to understand the quality of the build of what we do every single time we build one of these boats nice Kristen let me ask you a question does by any chance Chris ever play basketball here in the back like does he ever okay Let, let's go bro I'm ready <laughs> let's, let's go, go. <laughs> all right guys hey I'm challenging Chris we have a friendly wager. We, who's got lunch? You got lunch? I got lunch. Okay, okay. Listen, I got lunch. Listen, guys. Sea Hunter. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll post it on my story on Instagram. All right, guys. Wait for it. I'm from out there making a scene. Hey, uh, give your information. So right. I know. So you can contact me. 786-256-3757. Email chrisd at seahunterboats.com. And then also you can just get me on Instagram, cdelgado58. Guys, holler at me. I want to build you a boat. All right, let's go. You're going to get wrecked. Come on, let's go. Let's, let's go, go to the basketball ball. court. I heard somebody yelling your name in there before we were about to walk I'll out. challenge anybody, but you let me know. I don't know. We're going to have a little competition. We just finished everything. Uh -huh. And I'm going to kind of embarrass them on YouTube. I just want to make sure it's cool with you guys. Why are you pointing to the bathroom and telling me you're going to embarrass me? <laughs> Not... <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Let's go. <laughs> all right. Guys, that was the owner, Ralph. And, uh, all right. But before you smoke me, smoke me in basketball. Listen, we don't have to do horse or anything like that. Okay, however, you, however you want. We can do one-on-one. -on -one, we can do a game all of I seven. One shot. Okay. What do you want to do? I'd love to show you just a quick finished product. Not a full walkthrough, but at least so you can see a nice finished 45 that's a... Uh, we actually fish this boat pretty hard. That's why and they now, go to the boat shows, the though. That's why they go to the boat shows. Yeah. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What boat is this here? So this is our 45 mono hull. Oh, so this is the, the... This is the one that you saw at the Miami International Boat Show. Yeah, and they probably didn't see this boat. So this is hull number one. The hull 40... number one. This is the first one. And we actually showed a 45 over there. Yeah. This is a beauty. Absolute beautiful. One of my favorite parts of this boat is the ladder back, uh, teak ladder back seating. I think it looks so fresh. You know, Ralph didn't seem concerned about you getting embarrassed, uh, Chris. I don't I, think he cared very, very much. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think he really cared. All right, so we had a hole number three over there on the floor. Yeah. Where's number two? Gone? There, we passed oh, it also. Oh, we passed it yeah, also. Okay. Yeah. So also with um, 
Quad, quad 40, 50s. oh yeah, 450s? Yep. Look at this, guys. And this is another customer's boat also on the way. Yeah, this boat's ready for delivery. This boat has been QC'd already. It's probably already been detailed also, I'm not sure. No, I think it's ready for detail and then delivery. That is two knots. Got the big quad, 17 inch screens. And this is what kind of like a finished product that you take to a boat show. Yes, exactly. Right? But in this case, you guys can show it off here. Yeah. Oh, I, I do remember this. Yeah, I do remember this. This is, this is, this is a popular. So, so what customers have, have the guys uh, that are into monohulls, have they, have they gotten, say, hey, listen, I want to go into a cat or they just go bigger on the monohull because that's what they like? I think you have like a 50-50. You have some people that want to transition over to the cat side. And I don't know our guys, what they're doing is when they're for their current 45s, is upgrading to this 45. A little bit more creature comfort, a bigger console, a full head, uh, and just, just a revamped, renewed 45, right? Absolutely stunning in here, dude. It's this is cool. This is kind of, we, Ralph designed this. I don't think anybody else has it. It's called the Wingman. So four couple, uh, four rod holders, Two cup holders. Um, you can come up here and fight a fish. It has a gimbal over here. You can slide your rod into, and we can chase down a fish. We've chased down marlin from uh, from up here already this summer. Um, also sailfish. And, and hopefully we'll go fishing one day. I'd like I'd to go fishing with really the C hundred team. To do that with you. You yeah, fish the, with us. guys, the C hundred. I would love to go we fishing go with them. We go into Ralph's full tournament mode. Yeah, we. I just saw that he was like, "No, nah, everything is light tackle now." Yeah. Like he's he's a he's yeah, in it. He's he's, he's in it. He's he's in 100% it. Deep. In it. So you know what, that kind of makes people excited that the owners understand the process of fishing because they're actually the same type of client yeah. that wants the same thing. Yeah. And, that, and you see that, you see that in, in all the effort that he puts on these boats. And, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm surprised Eddie still stayed over there, huh? Yeah, I think he had to meet a client and then he was gonna go. Uh... Who's the turkey now? Huh? Ah! Bend your wings and fly. All right, let's go. <laughs> where's the ball? Where's the ball? Let's right. see, where's the ball? Do we have a ball here? Yeah. All right, guys. Wait, all right, wait, let me position the camera. Let's go down. Okay. Let me position the camera and uh, wait, wait, this is like the behind the scenes after, after the, the show. Let's go. Wait for it. Hey, don't take it personal. All right? I'm just, right. I'm just saying, listen, I, I'm, I, bro, I, 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 I'm good. I've been an athlete my whole life. Listen, I've been an athlete my whole life. Well, we'll see. Let's see. Uh, all right, guys. Well, hold on. Let me position this. Give me a second. All right. Go over there. Get, you, you got this one. All right, guys. You, all right. Bro, this is, guys, this is going to be easy. Damn. Listen. I knew I would find a weakness, guys. <laughs> I can't get, I can't get him on the boat ramp. <laughs> I can't get you the boat ramp. Maybe able to drive a little bit, but I can't shoot a basketball. All right, guys. Look. All right, my, my turn. My turn. Hold on. What do you think? Wagered. You first shot. First shot. Oh. 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 All right, guys. Hey, listen. Stop. Come here. <laughs> Come here. I want, to, I want to thank Captain Chris. Chris, tell them how can they find you. Uh, you could, uh, get me at, uh, on the email, chrisd at c100boats.com. You can get me on Instagram at cdelgado58. And I challenge anybody in any factory that I'll take them on a one-on-one -on -one with bad knees or not. Let's Come go. On. Let's go. Uh,